Hi there, let's talk about the new teams and how OneNote is included in each of your team's channels. So at the top of your team's channels, you see posts, files, and notes. While this is great to see Microsoft has included this in every channel, what's, what isn't so great is the fact that how we see our OneNote notebook is different. So in notes within new teams, you can see only one section at a time. So right now you're seeing the notes within my nonprofit team, uh, within the general channel, and you're seeing that I have uh, these pages in this notebook. If I go to my executive channel, you see that I have a notes option up here, but these are different notes, different pages. And the other channel I have in this team is sponsorship. I'm gonna to go to notes here. You see that this again is another section. So what's happened is Microsoft Teams has created a notebook as it always has for the team. But what's new here is that every channel has been created as its own section. And unfortunately we can't see the other sections. So if you want to be able to move around from section to section in your notebook within the Teams app, let me show you how to go about doing that. So just for a comparison, I'm showing you that within my instructor team that I created a long time ago before the new version of Teams came out, I have, I'm in the training channel and in this channel, I have the notes tab at the top. And when I click on the bookshelf on the left, I don't just see my pages, I see my sections. And so that's what we want back in this new Teams area. We want to be able to see the sections of our notebooks as well as the pages. So let's show you how to do that. So I'm going to go back to my nonprofit example because that's a brand new team and we'll make sure it works in there. All right, so I'm going to do two examples. One is where I'm going to create a new notebook for this team so I can see the sections and the pages no matter what channel I might be in. And then the other example is where I'm going to call up this particular notebook in a different way in the team. So let's start with a new notebook. I'm going to hit the plus sign at the top here. I'm going to go to OneNote as the app and it's showing me, of course, all of my notebooks I have created already, including the one that's the default for this current team, which is what notes represents right now. I'm just going to create a brand new one. So as soon as I create this new notebook, this new notebook is stored within this team's environment. So it's which means it's shared with whoever the members of this team are. Okay, I'm just gonna name this second notebook as Nonprofit Second Notebook and save that. And I can rename this tab at the top here because it's a little bit long. So just so you know, the, clicking on that little arrow and choosing rename, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Let's go to the bookshelf on the left and I want you to see right away because I created a brand new notebook that wasn't the default that Teams gave me, I have the ability to rename my section, add more sections, rename my page, add more pages. So that's how we get the full workings of what we were used to for OneNote within the new Teams environment. Just add in that notebook manually. So let's say I, I, you know, I created a second notebook, but maybe I want to use the notebook that comes with this team. I'm going to add it in again here, and then I'll take it out of here. So I'm going to go to the plus sign here, choose OneNote. And this one, it says non-project example. I'm, <laughs> I made a typo when I first created this team. So it literally was called non-project, not non-profit. Uh, I'm not going to worry about renaming that right now, but I want you to notice that it does say default team notebook. So I'm just going to, I'm going to say, yes, I want that notebook, even though I already have it, but I want it. So it includes the sections. So I'm going to choose this hit save. And just so you can see that's that February meeting. If I click here now, look, I have my, my pages and my sections so I can rename this. And I'm just going to rename it notes two because I won't be able to rename it notes because I already have one called notes. And now I'm going to go over to this one and I'm just going to uh, remove it. Nobody will live, ever even know what I've done. Right. So, and it's just telling me it's, it's just removing the tab. But it of course is not removing the notebook, which I didn't want it to do anyway. So that's good. So now I have post files and I can take this notes and drag it over here. So now when I go to notes, just click on the bookshelf and I get my pages and my sections. All right. So there's your workaround within the new teams. How do I see all my sections of my notebook? Um, just add that notebook in manually. Give that a try. Thanks.